downs and uh, the upside is is what happened in the last election uh, and what's going to happen in this election with Ann getting elected with these yes. and, uh, <laughs> yes. uh, and but John Pleshnik sits hits those issues hard he doesn't back down on the issues on his principles he's very very dedicated to the people of this community and to what we believe Wilby Hill should be like. We couldn't ask for a better councilman and a better vice chairman of our, uh, of our city council than John Pleshnik, and I'm honored and proud to call him my friend. Uh, <laughs> what can I say that means more than thank you First and foremost, thank you to my Aunt Linda, without whom I have no doubt. I have no doubt I would have never been elected to anything. I know you're here for the sausage and strudel, and I don't blame you. That's why I'm here, too. But today we have another special treat, and I have to say I'm so grateful to my aunt's best friend's husband, Boris Music, yeah. for coming in a close second by sharing his craft brew with us today. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh. I was here for the grand opening, and I have to tell you, if you've never been to Hansa, make it happen in the next week, because it is an incredible is place to be, right across the street from St. Ignatius. It's a wonderful blend of German and Slovenian and Eastern European culture. Wonderful food, wonderful drink, and a wonderful time. And as they would share with us tonight, means a heck of a lot to me. But once again, it's just because of my Aunt Linda, because they like her, not me. <laughs> it's right across from St. Ignatius on the west side. Now, I wish I could thank each and every one of you individually, but once again, it's dangerous to stand between people and food, so I won't. But I do, I do have to acknowledge my thanks to Dave Fiebig for inspiring me to fight against tax hikes. I don't, think, I don't think I would have run if I hadn't seen him step up during his state rep campaign, and I honestly think lost it because he refused to stand by. He, because he refused to stand by and let a tax hike pass without registering his objection, he voted the right way then, it's the right way now, and we need to cut taxes and sewer fees in Willoughby Hills if we're going to get back oh, on track. Yeah. And I know he'll stay. He'll stay. I have to say thank you to Ann Hassel Fenoff. She may not have won her first campaign, although she came awfully close, but I'm not sure I would have won mine if Ann hadn't knocked on all those doors and shared with so many of you and so many voters the right message for Willoughby Hills. So thank, thank you. Ann. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I know I wouldn't be standing here because I wouldn't have even been introduced. Without Dale and his wife, Nancy Fellows, she has been our Margaret Thatcher in Willoughby Hill. Yeah! <laughs> never, let them, never let them say we don't have a female president. As far as I'm concerned, that's Nancy Fellows. <laughs> so thank you to Madam President. We wouldn't be here without her. We have a great team. We've worked hard. We haven't got done everything we want yet. There's such a thing as a veto, and I need that fifth vote. I need Ann Hassel Fenoff to override a veto. But you know what? On some of the biggest issues we've campaigned and fought for, I've seen some big change. A little bird told me, a little bird told me that after years of fighting me on sewer fees, in fact, the mayor of Willoughby Hills is the one who authored, proposed, and signed into law the very sewer fee hikes we're all talking about today. A little bird told me that he now says the proposal to lower those fees is his idea. Oh. Oh. I've even read a newspaper article that never was published that said it was his idea. I may or may not have had something to do with that. I'm watching you, Bob. But you know what? I'm not angry that he's trying to take credit for our ideas. I'm happy that good ideas are being promoted regardless of who takes credit for them. And the fact that a man went from saying, I want to raise your sewer fees to the highest in Lake County, to saying, they're too high, I want to lower them, it's my idea, I think we've been pretty convincing on city council to have that kind of a transformation. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to 
say thank you to my campaign manager, Carol Maruzak, oh. who first introduced me to the Polka Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, uh, I know you're a little disappointed they're not playing here today, but there's not enough room. They always say they want to come, but they'll be here for our Slovenian-style dinner in June, so if you want a Polka, come in June, and they will be there. And I only know them because Carol drugged me over to them and said, are you going to play for free for this guy? <laughs> and I kid you not, their response was, is he Slovenian? And she said, yeah, but then we will. <laughs> so thank you to Duffy and the Polka Pirates. I have to say, best Polka man in the game. I want to thank my treasurer, Tony Manfredi. He's the money man. <laughs> event. Kickoff, campaign, he brings a basket from Sun Plum Market, a local Willoughby Hills business, and I am so grateful to them for always showing their support. So thank you Sun Plum, thank you Tony, we do it together. Amen. Speaking, of, speaking of doing it together, we only get to five votes, including Jan Micah, who by the way, got us to four. So she's our majority. I always say her nickname is Majority, her nickname is Quorum. Thank you. <laughs> now even the mayor wants to love them. So we have a great team. And once again, I can't thank everyone individually, but you know, as I look across this crowd, how grateful I am to each and every one of you, whether it's Doris Dodge, who made these signs. Amen. Yeah. The Cleveland Building wow. Trades, who have been more loyal than any I can say. My friends on Menor and East Lake City Council, and Menor on the Lake, our friends in the commissioner's office, including new ones. Yes. We wouldn't be here without your support. And I don't think we're going anywhere, because when I look at a crowd like this, I know it's for the sausage, I know. But the sausage will be here next time. It's not going anywhere. So neither are you, neither am I. And this November, all four of us are going to win. Amen. We're going to take five votes. We're going to lower your taxes. We're going to lower your fees. And you know what? More importantly, we're going to make sure that we follow the rule of law. We do the right thing. And when we first came to City Hall as a team, I think it's fair to say we'd all agree, it was kind of a cats away, mice can play attitude, no one's watching, we can do whatever we want. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when you elected me and when you send me back, you're not sending City Hall a cat, you're sending them a pit bull. Tell them Beamer. Yeah. 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 Yeah.